Introducing Smart PHQ Vets from Ocean Optics. This innovative new sensing technology gives you portable, low cost, and high performance pH measurements in the laboratory and out in the field. In this video, we'll look at how Smart PHQ Vets work and we'll see a demonstration of how they can be used in your laboratory setups. Smart PHQ vets from Ocean Optics utilize a thin, modified glass film doped with pH indicator molecules. By using the Sol Gel approach, Ocean Optics sensors do not experience the downsides of similar polymer materials. These Sol Gel coatings are more stable at high temperatures and extreme alkalinity levels. What's more, this proprietary coating has been chemically modified and optimized to offer ionic strength immunity for pH measurements, a common limitation of traditional electrode devices. Smart PHQ vets are compatible with a wide range of spectroscopy hardware. In this video, we'll use the portable Jazz pH system, which can use a standard benchtop cuvette holder, as well as a much more portable direct attach cuvette holder. For those using a standard USB benchtop system, the process is very similar and should be able to follow along as we access the user-friendly SpectraSuite interface. We'll start by making sure all of the equipment is gathered and prepared for use. To begin, connect the light source to the SMA end of the direct attach cuvette holder using an optical fiber. For benchtop setups, Connect a second fiber from the other end of the cuvette holder to your spectrometer. Place the cuvette into the cuvette holder, making sure it's sitting flush with the back surface and gently tighten the side screw to prevent any movement. Using a pipette, fill the cuvette with pH1 buffer. This will be our first reference buffer and it's also required during the initial light adjustment. Also, turn on your light source and allow it to warm up. Open SpectraSuite on your computer and be sure your spectrometer is displayed in the data sources pane. Since we're using Jazz, click on Strobe Lamp Enable and Electric Dark Correction. This step is not necessary with USB systems. Click on File, New, and New Sol Gel pH Measurement. Here we see the main interface of the pH module, with a large pH display in the upper right, a dynamic data table to log pH with time in the lower section, and other process parameters and option buttons in the upper left. Move your cursor to these buttons and click on Calibration Wizard. The Calibration Wizard will walk you through the steps necessary to quickly obtain high performance pH measurements. On the first screen, select the spectrometer you wish to use and then click Next. A number of options are available for calibration. A full calibration uses six buffers to calculate all of the coefficients necessary for accurate sensing. This option is the most time consuming, but it provides the best accuracy for critical measurements. After a calibration is completed, you have the option to save that calibration file for use at a later time. This option allows for a very fast startup, though may show a slight decrease in accuracy if any changes to the optical system have been made since the last time calibration was performed. For our demonstration, we're going to use the middle approach, or factory calibration. At the factory, a coefficient called pK is determined for a batch of smart pH cuvettes. This, along with the other coefficient, or slope, are needed for pH calculation. The pK value for a cuvette is very stable and constant, though the slope may change with time. Therefore, the factory calibration option allows you to input the factory determined pK value and then use one other buffer to calculate a new slope. 
Click the circle for Calibrate using Factory Calibration Constants, and then click Next. For these cuvettes, the acquisition wavelength is 620 nanometers, and the baseline wavelength is 750 nanometers. Enter these values into the appropriate fields along with the ambient temperature. The software adjusts the factory determined pK value based on the inputted temperature via a modified Van Hoff algorithm. With these parameters entered, click Set and then click Next. Smart pH cuvette packages come with a pK value printed on the interior. Enter this number into the pK field in the wizard, click Set, and then click Next. On this next screen, the system is going to adjust the integration time based on the given light source intensity so that there is no saturation. Click the Acquire button and wait as the system adjusts integration time. Now click Next. Depending on your setup, this next step can vary. To acquire a dark reference using the Jazz system, go to the Jazz interface, go to Jazz menu, and choose Light Source. Pressing the triangle button chooses the Viz NIR light source. Depending on your Jazz system, light source options may vary. Select Shutter and Closed. Now that the shutter is closed, you can select Acquire Dark Spectrum in SpectraSuite. Once you've completed this step, open the shutter on your Jazz to continue. Using a pipette, remove the pH1 buffer from the cuvette. Use a fresh pipette to avoid contamination, and then fill the cuvette with pH 11 buffer solution. Wait about 5 seconds, and then remove the pH 11 buffer solution and replace with fresh buffer. This will ensure that any residual buffer contamination is eliminated. The T90 response for smart pH cuvettes is 10 seconds, so it's good to wait about 20 seconds before clicking Acquire. With the system sufficiently equilibriated, click Acquire and then click Next. If the PK you previously entered was above 6.5, the software will ask you to fill the cuvette with pH 5 buffer solution. Conversely, if the pK you entered was less than 6.5, you'll be asked to fill the cuvette with pH 8 solution. Remove the pH 11 solution and then refill the cuvette with pH 8 buffer. Again, wait about 5 seconds and then flush with a fresh sample of pH 8 buffer solution. After 20 seconds, Click Acquire and then click Finish, and you're now ready to take a quality pH measurement. Going back to the main interface, we see that the acquisition wavelength, baseline wavelength, and temperature values have been filled in, and that the runtime clock is now tracking how long we've been using the pH module. We can set the time increment of data acquisition in the text box on the left. We'll set it to update every two seconds. Pressing the Run Stop button will start or stop the acquisition of pH data in the lower table at the specified time interval. Let's start the data acquisition and verify that the calibration was successful by looking at the cuvette's accuracy with other known pH solutions. This solution is pH 6.00, with some minor fluctuation attributed to ambient temperature. We see the pH value drop, and with a flush of fresh solution, the sensor accurately reports a pH of 6.00. This next solution is pH 7.4. Again, after filling and reflushing, the sensor adjusts to the correct value. To demonstrate a more real-world application, let's assume we're performing research on the immune system, and antigen retrieval is required for analysis. For this procedure, a citrate solution of pH 6.0 is required. We believe we've made the solution correctly, but we also need to confirm this before moving forward with our procedure. 
A sample is taken from the flask and placed into the smart pH cuvette. It seems the pH value is too low. Further dilution should raise the pH to the correct level. Checking this new solution, we see that our citrate buffer is ready for use. We hope this video has demonstrated some key benefits of our smart pH cuvettes over traditional electrode devices. For more information on smart pH cuvettes and other Ocean Optics sensor systems, please visit our website at oceanoptics.com. And as always, be sure to tune in again for more helpful videos here at spectroscopytv.com. Thank <laughs> you.